Hi, I'm Josh Corgett from Dread Central. Hi. Hey, hi. Uh, I'm good. How about you? Good. Um, so what was your first experience or memory with Stephen King growing up? I, my first experience was watching Carrie when I was younger. I think I was like 11 or something. Mm -hmm. um, my mom had talked really highly of it, said it was one of her favorite movies. And watching Sissy Spacek, I think that's how you pronounce her name, um, in that movie was just pretty transformative for me and just very exciting because I hadn't, I mean, I'd seen it, I grew up watching a lot of movies, but that movie really stuck with me. And her performance in that specifically, and it made me realize like the power of horror and the power of a performance in horror and how much you can play around with and how much you can like sh show just like such a vast range of emotions. Mm -hmm. What was your first experience reading the short story of the Boogeyman? What was your response to it? I mean, I think it's terrifying and I think it's one of his best stories. Um, I'm biased, I know. But even when I liked, I hadn't read it before doing it, um, but I told my mom and my mom was just like, that's my favorite out of like, and he has so many stories, but like this was the one. And to like yeah. tell such a horrifying story within seven, like seven or eight pages, that's insane. Yeah. Well, with Blink, Yellow Jackets, now The Boogeyman, you've taken a deep dive into horror. What has that been like for you? Um, I feel like it just kind of happened naturally because I started off with sci-fi and a lot of just like elevated genre pieces. Um, it's exciting. Um, I feel like I want to just like continue play because to me all that matters is having an interesting character that you can, th there's a lot to explore within the character and I've been lucky enough to find these characters within these genre pieces. Um, yeah, and I'm just like attracted to sometimes darker stories too, and that naturally falls into horror, and you get to play around a bit more and use your imagination a bit more. I don't know if you're aware, but there was a scientific study that proved that Rob Savage's previous two films are the number one and the number eight scariest movies of all time, and I'm wondering, do you think that The Boogeyman is going to crack the top ten? Holy, I did not know that. Um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, whew. I mean, I hope, like, the, hearing that people are like, oh, that scared me so much, like, that is the goal. And just, <laughs> like, you go into a movie wanting to feel something, or at least that's how I am. Um, yeah. And just to, like, have something stick with you shows, again, the power of movies. Um, mm -hmm. So let's hope. I mean, that's insane for him, because he's so young, yeah. too. Yeah, Host was number one. Wild. Uh, what's your, yeah, it's a scary movie. What's your personal relationship with horror? Are you a fan? Do you scare easy? Um, I love horror movies. I grew up always loving horror. I'm always like very big on watching every horror movie that's out. Um, I grew up making movies with my sister and my friends. These like zombie movies after I watched the movie 28 Days Later. Um, and was just like obsessed. Um, and I feel like mm -hmm. it's a genre that I can fall naturally in, but I want, like, I just love movies in general. Like, I just love every genre. And it was like the first thing that I was drawn to because I was like, oh, I can make that with like, with ketchup and like blood and like makeup. And <laughs> it, it allowed me to like be really crafty when I was younger. <laughs> Why do you think this short story scares people the way that it does? I mean, Stephen King is such a talented writer, and I think it just taps in to our fears of the unknown. And because the boogeyman for them embodies grief, so many people experience grief on like a day-to-day -day basis too. Like there's so many levels to grief. Um, I think people can resonate with that. Um, I also just think, um, yeah, it's just a really um, human, story at its core. The idea of the boogeyman is something that we see a lot in popular culture mm -hmm. and in urban legends, but I'm just wondering to you, what is the boogeyman? <laughs> um, the boogeyman is um, a couple of different things. I have a lot of <laughs> fears as we all do. Um, for me, when I was younger, public speaking 
uh, having to do like a presentation for French class was my boogeyman because <laughs> I'm really bad at speaking French. Um, <laughs> bird scooters are my second boogeyman. Um, I had like an accident on one and they just suck. They're not, they're dangerous. <laughs> my last question for you is, what's the movie that really traumatized you the most growing up? 28 Days Later, or Pan's Labyrinth. Maybe Pan's Labyrinth because uh -huh. I, it just like leaked into my dreams entirely, the scene with the hand. Um, uh -huh. And like that just had created such strong visuals for me as a kid. Um, so that messed me up a little bit because I was too young when I watched it. Amazing. Well, thank you so much and congrats on the thank movie. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's cut, Bye, please. Everybody. Thank you.